nothing much to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake Behold, my trucker station came to an end But behold, a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music, there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for... Good morning, good morning, guys and gals Here we are at the yard We just picked up our loaded trailer That's right and it has been snowing all night long and still this morning so we got a few inches of snow but hey guess what we're still leaving we are still leaving the yard we have to this patch i think got a little worried already you know so i still hadn't left the yard you know So I got a message from him. What's your ETA? Oh well, we'll be there tomorrow. Yeah, you guys told me originally to be there on Friday, not tomorrow anyway, so I don't know what the big deal is, but we gotta get out of here. Hopefully the roads will be okay. actually a four-wheeler coming so we gotta make sure we don't block them off right we're gonna run over that four-wheeler that wouldn't be good then we would be in trouble that's right anyways we're gonna red street highway 12 and then turn right out of meters hopefully the highways will be all right go up to Winnipeg and then we'll fuel up the truck and then we'll be ready to go I guess it's about 12 o'clock right now Central Standard Time it's 900 kilometers up to where I gotta make my delivery so about nine and a half hours drive if the conditions are good who knows if it's not good how long it's gonna take right but whatever the way it is we're gonna give it a shot anyways and see how far we can get tonight there we go we got the green light yeah it's definitely gonna be slippery but who knows how slippery right yeah here we go let's find out how slippery it's gonna be Let's find this oil. At least we got some weight on. And we did bring our tire chains with us. Because it's required in BC to have tire chains. So we brought them along and here we go. Continue on this road for 20 kilometers. Alright, let's give this a try and see what it's going to feel like. So. We'll see you all a little bit later. Hey guys, look at this four-wheeler here in the ditch on the left-hand side. It is extremely dangerous right now. I just had a four-wheeler in front of me here doing a zigzag here and I had to step on my brakes and uh, oh, my heart is pumping. <laughs> oh boy, I, <laughs> I thought I might not be able to get stopped on time, but I was able to, but there is another four-wheeler right there in the ditch. You see that, guys? I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but uh, the cop just went by me, too, so there must be a more of a serious crash up ahead. So we're not going to go too fast, then. We're just going to take it a little easy, then. My heart is kind of pumping real fast now. <laughs> Anyways, we got to... We gotta focus on the road, so we'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty, guys, here is our first Wickton of a semi truck tractor trailer. He slid right off the road. I guess he's going too fast for conditions. Looks like a local delivery guy, too. Looks like just like a day cab, and he's probably gone too fast. He slid off the road. I guess we're gonna have some exciting day today. <laughs> Well, let's just keep our fingers crossed that that doesn't happen to us, right? 
that uh, the Lord is going to protect us, going to keep us under control and not to speed too fast, and not to go around corners too fast and not be stupid. Yeah, sometimes you gotta, yeah, you gotta use common sense when it's winter like this, you know, when you just got a fresh snowstorm and the soil is still warm, you know, and you get that ice and snow on it. The, the road is kind of warm and it forms a little layer of ice, you know, and you gotta take it easy. But anyways, we're gonna continue on rolling if we can and uh, we're gonna show you what we can. Ready, here's one guy here to the left. I don't know if you can see it there. He went too fast. He went through the ditch. That's right. We are outside of Winnipeg. Yeah, we're quite a bit outside of Winnipeg already. We're almost up to Portage. Portage La Prairie, that's it. Manitoba. And it is a little slick out there, that's for sure. Yeah. We filled up the truck in Winnipeg there in Hattigley actually. Now we got lots of go-go juice and we're good to go, right? That's right. Yeah, it's a little crappy out here, but hey, we gotta go. We gotta go. That's the plan anyways. If I can make it past Manitoba, that's where the snow has stopped apparently that's what my wife said and uh, I talked to a friend of mine there a little bit ago and he said he had a friend that was up there on the other side of Manitoba there in Saskatchewan and he had told him the same thing he said there's no snow up there so that's fantastic if we can get out of this snowstorm that would be awesome that's right so let's see what we can make of it and uh, hopefully we can be safe out here and enjoy the ride. Alrighty guys, we are on Highway 16 heading towards Saskatoon right now and I'm kind of hoping that you're going to be able to see these trees up here all white. That is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that to the right. I love it when it looks like that. But you don't see that very often. You really don't. You only really see it when uh, it has ice fog or stuff like that, you know. That's usually when you get them trees looking like that, is when you have gotten ice fog. Oh, look at that, Spooky Bear. Oh well, we're driving legal, but it has finally stopped snowing, and that's what my wife said earlier, that's the way it looks like the weather forecast is, it's more for central Manitoba, so as soon as I get further west, it will be gone, and that has been the case, so far anyways, oh, there's another smoky bear. Well, you guys had a coffee meeting somewhere or what? Anyways, the sun is almost trying to peek through over there it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But Absolutely gorgeous. Nice fresh snow. I love it. I love it. Very nice. I could probably use another foot of snow. Well, another foot. I don't think we have a foot yet, but we got a few inches. Would be kind of nice to get a foot of snow for uh, New Year's when we go uh, camping. Well, I guess sort of camping. But uh, anyways, that's the way it is. Uh, it would be very nice if we could get some more snow. And we can go some snowmobiling trying to see what this four-wheeler was trying to do. I don't know, he's up there 
there in the ditch and I don't know what he was attempting to do but <laughs> that looks a little weird looks like he might be stuck there but shouldn't have driven in there when it's snowy like this <laughs> yeah anyways let's continue on with our journey we got 680 kilometers to go and I will be in Saskatoon I don't know if we'll go all the way there tonight or not, but we'll see. We'll see, I guess. That's right. Look at that. The last little clip here. Our last few seconds of them beautiful white trees. I don't know if we'll see them further down the road, but right here we saw it. Very gorgeous. That's the beautiful part of country up here in Canada and Manitoba. Or a beautiful time of the year around Christmas you get to see some beautiful sceneries what I'm trying to say it's a beautiful country that's what I'm trying to say yes finally I got the words out right I hope <laughs> yeah looks like it's not windy anymore any uh, too much anyways uh, right now anyways you know or it's not too much windy anymore that's what I meant to say wow look at that that must be beautiful living right in that bush there you know I would love to live like that in the bush have a few acres you know that'd be absolutely gorgeous I am telling you guys it was a hard day's worth of driving today that is very true but guess what Let's take a look out the window. Yeah, we are sitting in front of a gate to our customer. Yeah, that's extremely happily news for me. Because that means I am done for today. And I'm here at my customer. That's right. So they won't have to wait much at all tomorrow to see me they said they want to have me here as soon as possible well we're here we're here that's right but it was really windy today stormy as you guys probably saw in the video it's been a crazy day today but we made it we made it here safely we didn't have no hiccups on the road getting here right so with that being said, I'm going to hit the bed. So we'll see you all again on my channel tomorrow. So be sure to stick around because we might have some goodies coming up. So we'll see you then. Be good. And hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed. Give me that big fat thumbs up. Hey, you got something to say? Leave it down there in the comment section. We would love to respond to your comments. With that being said, have a good one everybody, we'll catch you on the next one. It's time to get going, it's time to move on, put this behind me.